Hi everyone, it's Laura and I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be doing the over 30 book tag, which is simultaneously hilarious because I have no idea why 30 is such a huge milestone in people's minds. Um, and equally a blessing because let's be honest, so many book tags are just ridiculous with questions like name a character in a book that you really fancy or what's your favorite problematic um three-way love story like it's just i don't have any time for it so i appreciate a book tag which is aimed at my elderly demographic so the original video was by ink not blood which i will link in the description box below along with the rest of the questions if you'd like to try this tag out yourself but only if you're over 30 i don't want any of you youngsters doing this tag question one is name one of your favorite books which features a protagonist who is 30 years old Old or older um, which is probably the most hilarious question in this tag because I swear every book I read people are over 30 like I don't know what books we're reading when nobody's over 30 in them but I have chosen Girl Woman Other by Bernadine Evaristo because this is a collection of 12 different voices and many of the women featured in this book are way over 30 um, there's lots of middle-aged and, and older women and also lots of women looking back on their youth from a different standpoint which I really appreciate and I, I really like an older woman's voice in fiction and I mean it's just a fantastic book there's any excuse to talk about this one Question two is name a book that represents you when you were younger. And I struggled with this one because I don't feel like there is a book or character which represents me when I was young. And I think it's really hard. Well, I, I find it really hard to define my personality, especially what it used to be when I was younger. Like I can't remember what I used to be like, I especially can't compare myself to characters in books. So what I've done is I've cheated a little bit and I've picked three books and they're just three books that I really identify with in terms of nostalgia and what it felt like for me when I was young. So the first one of these is a poetry collection, which is Kumi Kanda by Kaya Chigonyi. And this is ridiculous because his life is nothing like mine. This collection is fantastic though, and it is about that transition from childhood to adulthood. Kumikanda is the name of a traditional rite that's performed by his family's tribe in Zambia, which marks the end of boyhood and into manhood. And that's what he's dealing with, although he's in a British school um, and learning to fit in then. But what I really love about it is the way he talks about the music. I think we must be a very similar age. And the way he talks about listening to these artists who I really remember from that time and how that kind of defined him, how he was trying to work out his own personality and his adulthood, find his own adulthood essentially. Um, I really like that and something about the tone of these poems just really spoke to me even though our childhoods obviously were very different. Number two is a set of short stories which is Multitudes by Lucy Caldwell and again it's not like our childhoods were the same but something about the way she writes about teenage girldom I just really love. A lot of these stories focus on the notion of growing up, a lot of them take place in Belfast where Lucy Caldwell was from and she just really captures that kind of nihilism of teenage girls and it, I don't, it's not even like I read some of the um, events in this book and think oh that's exactly what I did because I wasn't actually that crazy when I was a teenager but I just really feel like she gets into that that voice in your head which sort of doesn't tell you to say no um, it doesn't tell you to stop and that's what it is like being a teenager you just don't have those impulses and I really really felt that in her writing and the final book which again isn't like my life I don't know why these books speak to me so much is Normal People by Sally Rooney which is about two people going from school into university and the relationship and how it like waxes and wanes and develops. Connell and Marianne are from very different classes. Connell's mother actually um, cleans Marianne's family house um, and they, they are very distant at school. When they come to university they also find that they're moving in very different circles and I don't feel like I personally identify with either Connell or Marianne but I really recognise these groups of people, I really recognise the way they are communicating and interacting with each other um, and like the different class systems in university, the idea of trying to go to university and reinvent yourself really or even reinventing yourself in between like first year and second year or second year and third year um, and I think there's something about being that age that is really captured so well in this book. But, I mean, I don't think any of these three particularly tell you this is what I was like when I was a child. These don't represent me when I was younger, but I 
re I see what it was like to be young through their eyes and through their writing. Question three is name a book that represents where you are in your life now. And this is a little bit sad, this one, but this is Sweet Home by Caris Bray, which is another collection of short stories, which I really love. And a lot of her stories are based around families, but also motherhood and longing for a baby. There are stories in here about babies who die, um, which is something that Caris Bray went through herself. Um, and they're all very, very different. Some of them are a little bit abstract and dystopian almost. There's a, there's a story where a woman is like buying babies from the supermarket and taking them home. Like there's, there's some very weird things and other stories are completely naturalistic, but I loved it. it it's, it's one of those rare collections where I loved every single story in there, even though they are so different. Um, <laughs> However, yeah, I mean, this this is what I feel, this is where I am in my life at the moment, is dealing with having had, had a miscarriage recently and wanting to start a family. So I feel like this is very, this is very poignant for me. Question four is name a book which represents something that's never changed about you. And this is another very interesting question because I couldn't tell if it's like an interest or an aspect of my personality because I think we're changing all the time and it's really hard to remember the kind of person you used to be and, being able to identify the aspects of your personality which have changed and those that have stayed the same. And I couldn't really find a book that I felt represented like the core of me. That's quite a big ask. But what I have gone for is The Lord of the Rings because I read these when I was about 14, I wanna say. Um, have reread them since. I, I just love them. I love the films so much. I'm sure you will know, because I talk about it all the time, um, that me and my friends watch the films every year at Christmas. We've done so for like nearly like 15 years now and that is such an important tradition to me so i feel like that is something that has stayed the same and never changed and i'll link these um i'll link these copies of the books down below because these are really really beautiful ones um i'm very pleased to have them question five is name one of your favorite classics and for me that is anna karenina um i've read this twice now it's a very long book um and i did do a page to screen video on it when i used to do those series so i've watched lots of adaptations of it as well so i feel like i just really know it inside out and it's one of those books where i was so pleasantly surprised by the writing i think i went into it in expecting it to be difficult um but really, I feel like Tolstoy just understands the human condition, which sounds like a very big accolade, but he's a very good writer. And although this is about um, Anna Karenina running off with Count Vronsky, leaving her marriage, it's about her being a fallen woman, um, not being able to get a divorce from her husband and the ramifications of that, that event, those actions. It's also about so many other peripheral secondary characters and so many other unhappy marriages or happy marriages or people trying to get together. Levin and Kitty break my heart every time I read this book. I love, I love them so much um, as a couple and I just think it's beautifully written the way he, he writes about love and life and what it means to be in love, what it means to love your family. Um, there, there's something so special about this book. And question six is name a book that you would like to read that was published in the year you were born. So I had a look on Goodreads of all the books that were published in uh, the year 1989. And um, for ages, I couldn't find any that I wanted to read. I think other than The Joy Luck Club and The Remains of the Day, both of which I've read and really, really enjoyed both of those. Like every other book I was like, no, nah, not interested in this until I came across Gender Trouble by Judith Butler, um, which I have been wanting to read for a while actually because there are a few different books like Girls Will Be Girls is a prime example of a book that I've read recently that I've loved a lot which really takes like really jumps off of a lot of the concepts that Judith Butler originally presented um, in Gender Trouble. So I would like to read the original book. So those are my answers. I would love to hear from you, especially if you don't have a channel. Let me know in the comments below what your answers to these questions would be. Um, it's quite it, it's quite a weird process, I think, trying to find books that represent different parts of your life or different parts of your personality. Um, but it's quite an interesting exercise. So I'm, I'm very, uh, I really like the answers that I came up with. So I would love to talk to you more about this in the comments below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.